If you ever owned a PlayStation Portable or PlayStation Vita, you might know about an amazing feature called AdHoc, which is basically a local area network that is used to establish a wireless connection between two or more handhelds. I recently discovered that PPSSPP also provides this feature, and that you can connect two completely different devices as long as they are both running Android. Within the network settings, you can choose your handheld's IP as a server address. Aside from this device-specific number, which is unique to your handheld, you can then copy my settings and set the port offset option value to 5000. The Odin will be our networking host and the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus will join us as a guest. This means we'll have to use the same PPSSPP network settings, except for an option called Enable Built-in Pro Ad Hoc Server. Make sure to manually type in the same exact IP address that you used on your host device, in this example, the Odin's IP. After setting the port offset option value to 5000, everything is ready for a test and you can launch into a game with multiplayer features. The rest of this video is a short compilation of different games that I've tested. There are a few titles that I couldn't get to work, like Def Jam Fight for New York and Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. But aside from the games featured in this video, I was also able to play Tekken 6, Split Second, as well as Wipeout Pure in multiplayer mode, and I have heard good things about Monster Hunter Freedom Unite and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. I hope you liked this video and found it interesting and helpful, and if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. Thanks for watching!
your fighting style. Select your fighting style. Let's party! Go for broke! Welcome to Shanghai, boys. How do you like it so You're living the dream, baby. Oh, and guys, try not to piss off the locals. <laughs> 